one night in London, while we had a wild night of coloring in our adult coloring books, Kate announced that the next year was going to be the year of Kate. She said she didn't plan on dating anyone. She was going to take a year to focus on herself, traveling, and starting her career. And everyone, guess how long that lasted? Hi, Ryan. Like a castaway, but we wanted no a grown up, Ryan always followed me around everywhere. My mom made sure that I hated it. My mom always said, it's your little brother, play with me. Wasn't because he was little and he wanted to hang out. It was because he's better than me at everything. Literally. All through high school. Your brother's smarter than you. He's a better basketball player. Never heard he had better hair than me, but that's a different subject. Now what we thought we needed. Another thing Kate and I did in London was plan at least one trip for every year until we turned 30. Now you can all imagine how much confidence I had that these trips would actually materialize when the boy that Kate was just getting a drink at Whistler's with turned into a pretty routine topic of conversation. It didn't take long for me to realize that the year of Kate was going to max out at about three months, but for good reason. And everyone, it's important that I add that Kate and I haven't missed any of the trips we originally planned. Ryan didn't come into Kate's life and attempt to change her goals, but instead supported everything she wanted to do and every adventure she wants to go on. Kate and Ryan, you're starting your greatest adventure today. Sure, some of the paths may get rocky, but it's clear to everyone in this room that you two have enough love between you to keep climbing. From where riches flow, my heart is sure to follow. Over here, it can see much clearer. What you wanted was always only what we needed. Won't give up, won't give in. Take everything we have and let the new begin. Won't give up. So most of us know that this love story started in high school when Kate had a crush on this upperclassman. Their experience, our experience with COVID and disease started like recently, right? But, but they started with disease and urgent care visits when Kate gave him mono, which may be the reason they didn't reconnect until after grads. And they've been inseparable ever since. It seems like only yesterday that we were in Florida on our first vacation together, looking out over the water after a nice early Valentine's Day dinner, when he beat me to the punch and said, I love you first. Our first path, our path here might have started there, but nothing was going to stop it, because I know that no matter what else is going on, I want to be there with you. When I think about us and our relationship, I can't believe how natural it has always felt being with each other. From the beginning, it's always felt right. Spending almost every day together, and when a date could just be us strolling the aisles of Target or sitting in the back of the car at the custard stand, <laughs> just enjoying our ice cream. I'm so excited for the future, knowing that I get to I get to continue to make you laugh with my stupid jokes. I get to wake up next to you to start every day with a smile. I get to pretend to be the one preventing you to get ice cream until I finally give in. <laughs> I get to go along with your spur-of-the-moment decisions to explore the city. I get to spend the rest of my life with you. I can't wait to travel the world. <laughs> I promise to stay adventurous and see as much of this world together as we can. I love this life we are building and I can't wait to see where our compass points next. Alright, Ryan and Caitlin, you have pledged your love, lives, and love in front of all of us today. And you've exchanged rings as a symbol of this community. Cherish this night and this moment as a celebration of all you are and all you will become. Find some quiet moments tonight to look around and appreciate the community you've created together and the true love you've found. It is my honor and privilege and the power vested in me by theuniversallifechurch.com <laughs> that I pronounce you husband and wife. Ha, ha, ha.
Until the day we die, so let.